Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to learn about common parameters used in the PowerShell. So let's get started this video. Here is the introduction to the common parameters and the common parameters are parameters automatically available with any command let implemented by PowerShell not command let developer override system default or the preferences. Common parameters with the alias. So here is the list with the common parameters used in the PowerShell like debug. So you can use in your command line hyphen debug that will display programmer level details. Error action determine how the command let respond to the error and the error variable will show you the store error messages in the specified variable out variable store output in a specified variable out buffer is a determined number of output object to accumulate in the buffer and hyphen pipeline variable store will be current pipeline element as a variable verbose will display the details information and warning action determine how the command let respond to the warning the warning variable store warning in the specified variable so these are the common parameters used in the powershell let's move it to next slide here is common parameters verbose how you can use the common parameters as a verbose common parameters so here is the command line restart services hyphen name the bits i am using let's take an example to use the verbose here i use the verbose command a verbose very very verbose parameters with the same command so after using this i'm not getting any output here but when we use the verbose it's giving me the output something verbose performing the operation to restart the service on target on that computer background intelligence service for this bits so it will give you the more information about the your output what the result happen and it's indicate like your the common parameters so this is verbose called as a common parameter let me open the powershell command and then we'll see the how we can use this uh, verbose command now let's type the restart sorry r e r e s t a a come on r e s t a restart hyphen service hyphen name and the bits so now it's it's not giving any message just to take the action it restart the services but we need uh, the output something what is going on or we can use the verbus here now type the verbus v e r and use the tab button and here is the output verbus performing the option uh, operations uh, on service restart on the target target computer on this service so that's how the verbose common parameters work let's move it to the next slide common parameters on a error action suppose you are getting any error with your command so how you can deal with the error action so here is the example get process net logon error action is a silently continue if you are using the error action silently continue you will not get the error message again whatever the error messages here in your the uh, output let's use the powershell here to uh, what we are going to use it the get process okay so get process hyphen name and this is a net logon actually net logon uh, process is not running in my system that's why i use the net logon example if that process is running there then it will give me the output there will not be any error but we need to deal with the error now here is the hyphen error action and let's take a what type of switches are available use the tab here is the tab called continue let's try with this so continue also is giving the error let's try with the another switch ignore so if you are using the ignore that means is that will ignore the your error messages now let's use the continue ignore 
inquiry why this is happening why this error is there you can do the inquiry press y and will get the reason why this error is coming on the screen so cannot find the process name net logon the reason is why this error was showing here because this net logon process is not available that's why verify the process name and call the commandlet again the process name is not fine okay so let's cls and uh, go again inquiry after the inquiry let's try with the silent continue if you hit the silent continue the error will not be there that error gone because we are continue silenting if there is any error we are ignoring the error let's try with the another command continue silently continue and the stop if you are using the stop still you will get the error now let's use the other command suspend so suspend with the suspend also you you the powershell is unable to suspend this command let now let's use the other thing what are the parameters are available silently continue stop suspend and the continue so let's continue on the error verify the process name and the call the command let again cannot find out the process if you are using the continue and on error action still you will get the error the only way you can go with the ignore or the silent continue to ignore these types of error let's go with the next slide so yeah this is your common parameter and the error action what we define okay so out variable out variable is a to store your variable in some any of variable you can define so there are the multiple ways to store the value and the out variable is one of a good example to store the value let's start with this what we have here let's type the get hyphen file hash so we are going to check the file hash double slash uh, double colon and c colon slash i create a file that is a cmd let's let's dot csv and this variable let's see i i just hit the enter and now what we are going to do i am going to store this value under the csv so hyphen out out variable on the csv now this output is stored under the csv how you can get the output type the dollar csv and you will get the output here again so see this is make as a hash dollar when you are using the output variable so this out variable used to store this command command line value under any out variable what you design define here so here is another uh, another way to store the value under the csv instead of using out variable you can use like dollar data equal to this and your value will store under data so now you can use the under dollar data and hit the enter you will get the same output so here is a two way either you can define dollar data equal to what you needed here second thing is you can define a out variable parameters and give the name so if you are giving the name here you do not need to specify the dollar name that's how you can use the out variable and now let me move it to the next slide out variable uh, acceptations what is the uh, acceptations from the out variable select object stop pipeline processing resulting in the out variable not containing the expected result so here is another example to get the child item from a path let's do the example for this get hyphen child item hyphen i can use the path and where i'm using it say under defining c colon slash so under c drive how many files are there i'm going to test this so we have like these many files are available under c drive let's use the here
okay sorry yeah let's use the here uh, what I'm going to use it pipeline and uh, select hyphen object and now here what you need the first or uh, let's use the star so you will get the all the uh, all the files are available inside the folder with all the details so that's how you can use it or if you want to take the first line or the second line you can define the parameters here so with the select object you can use anything whatever you want like uh, here is the the base name is the file target name so let me go with the with the name comma what else you name okay so here is what it is mentioned name and and then the full name f u double l full name and what else we need it extension e x t e n s i u n extension and the other thing whatever you need it like uh, just copy paste this uh, the file creation date and uh, other part is the liar last to do, do last right okay so let me write it down the last right and hit the enter so now it's giving me the output with uh, the pipeline I have defined based on that I selected the select object based on that you will get the output and if you want the out hyphen out file sit out file and on what basis I need I need the out file to file path gd encoding append okay so out file let me go for the path path oh come on file path and then you can define any path to store this output so let's take this path and here we are defining c temp and the file is in a uh, csv or anything out file you can give on the text output as well oh do, 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 do. now let me give the data dot txt and the data will saved on this particular file in this particular path out file let me go to the hyphen grid view okay so the out file is not working for here yeah that's it guys so you can store the uh, this output there and what else you can do you can just take the object hyphen the first three line or the count for this and you can get the output with the variable now let's go for the risk mitigation parameters so many command let also offer risk mitigation parameters Typically when the command line change the system or the application so you can use uh, What if and the confirm so if there is any risk to running this command any your command So what you can use before running that command you can check the uh, risk for that command and you can use the what if and the confirm Let's take an example. So what if like stop process because you are going to stop the process what will impact if if you are using this part is like okay let me go with this the CLS here CLS so stop process PROC stop process hyphen name and in case you put it a star that means is all the process is going to stop uh, immediately now what I what we can use we can test the risk what if command will tell you what are the uh, what are the process is going to kill if you are using this command so that means is you can mitigate the risk before running the command if you run this command all these process is going to stop that's how you can test it uh, your uh, the risk so this will perform the action on this this will perform action on this so it will stop everything whatever is running in your system if you hit this command 
uh, stop process name hyphen star. So what if command will tell you if you run this stop process hyphen name dot star that it going to be stop all these processes. So that means is everything is going to stop in your system. Now let's understand the action parameters. So suppose you are using any of uh, uh, cat service and the stop services there you can use the confirm command. Let me clear this dashboard and I'm gonna use it stop hyphen services and uh, the name hyphen name and uh, let me try with the bits bit service and now what I am using here let's confirm so if I'm using the confirm you seen the on the screen it asking for the yes or no do you want to proceed to stop this service or not you can say no that means says it's uh, a to select all all a y sorry and and and, and suspend we have to choose actually sorry so if you are using the s suspend that means is the suspend now it's not going to take any action if you use yes the y if you are using that means is it's going to be a stop that services and now it got a stop let's check the service status hyphen now name and the it's a bits so see the bit services stop because we have confirmed it so guys that's how you can use the uh, what if command and the confirm command so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my the next video with some other topic and i will uh, please subscribe and share this video